Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. Such a joyful day for Liverpool yesterday, coming off of that 5-0 win over Swansea City. And more happiness, joy, and jubilation. So much reason to celebrate, Reds fans. Hallelujah, we finally got our man. Virgil van Dijk is a Red, shattering the world record fee paid for a defender. 75 million euros, over a hundred million dollars. Just just absolutely destroying the previous record uh, set for a defender. Of course, that was uh, broken not so long ago when Manchester City purchased Benjamin Mendy for 52 million. And, uh, you know, not far behind was Kyle Walker purchased from Spurs for $50 million. So this is an unprecedented signing. People are obviously going to critique it, saying no defender is worth 75 mil. I beg to differ. This is a just complete future-altering move for Liverpool Football Club. It's a dream move for all parties involved after the nightmare that was the summer transfer saga. So humiliating, embarrassing to see Liverpool have to issue such a pathetic public apology for trying to tap up Van Dijk, of course, feigning uh, a lack of interest, saying that we are no longer interested in the player. Get out of here. Klopp was going to do whatever it takes to make it happen, and Van Dijk was dedicated as well. Obviously unhappy at Southampton. One of the five best center backs in the world, if you ask me. Six foot four, towering height, great speed to close down balls. Wonderful tackler, can take on the big boys with the best of them. He obviously completely shut down uh, Christian Benteke. Some great highlights you can see of the way he always wins aerial battles uh, against him. He has phenomenal passing ability. The way he's going to be able to switch the play and break down teams that try to park the double-decker bus, it's going to be a thing of beauty. Mohamed Salah is going to get so many great one-on-one -on -one opportunities as a result of Van Dyke's passing. And, uh, you know, these guys who Jurgen Klopp has brought in, Mo Salah, Sadio Mane, you know, uh, Keita, Ox, and now Van Dyke, all very talented footballers who would have never come to Liverpool if it wasn't for Jurgen Klopp. This is the Klopp effect. He could have gone to Manchester City and walked into a title-winning squad easily, but he didn't. He wore a Manchester City shirt on Halloween, proving that no matter how many trophies they win, they're still a Mickey Mouse club, and they should never forget that. Liverpool is the place to be. It's where top players want to go. It is the exact opposite narrative that Reds fans were forced to deal with during the Brendan Rodgers era. Missing out on player after player and having to settle for guys like Ricky Lambert, Mario, Mario Balotelli, you know, Lazar Markovic. Those days are over. The top players come to play for Liverpool Football Club. And what makes the timing of this so interesting, they completed the deal in the middle of a Manchester City game, so they could not make a last-minute hijack of the deal. But it didn't matter. Van Dyke made it clear in the summer that he would only come to Liverpool, and he made it clear now he would only come to Liverpool. He wants to be in the red shirt. And I would have no problem whatsoever with seeing him wear the captain's armband from day one. And... As of now, he is in line to make his Liverpool debut against Everton in a derby. What an exciting prospect in the FA Cup. Would love to see uh, that be his first match. So this partnership that he's going to create with Joel Matip is going to be towering and terrifying. Set-piece defending is going to get so much better. Man-marking, the way he's going to just command the defense. This is not just about Van Dyke's talent. This is about his leadership, what he is going to bring to the table. Liverpool have a true leader. You could honestly make the argument that Van Dyke is the first Liverpool player now in the squad to be true captain material. And I can't wait to see how well he's going to perform. Of course, every move will be you know, dissected, analyzed, and criticized. But the fans need to get behind this lad because he is something special. World-class player, finally, at Liverpool now. And I'm calling it. Next season, Liverpool are winning the league. 
Perhaps the biggest weakness has now been addressed. Of course, we now have to see what we can do about goalkeeper. The holding midfielder spot might be a little bit tenuous, but this is just a massive, colossal signing. The biggest acquisition in the history of Liverpool Football Club and the transfer market, and I cannot wait to see what happens next. Thank you so much for tuning in, Reds fans. And as always, you'll never walk alone.